Hey everybody, I am here with my friend Russ Ford. The, we talked about this earlier, this is round two, the camera messed up, but the founder of Wayfinder Financial here in Indianapolis. You can't see it, but we're looking out at the circle. Russ has a very nice office down here. He is also one of our founding members for the advisory growth community. Um, and instead of always telling you about how much we're enjoying this community, being Taylor and I, we wanted to have some of our members to share their experience as well. So. Russ, if you wouldn't mind, um, you think back to when you first found out about the AGC, what was it that appealed to you and then what ultimately led you to joining? Yeah, that's a great question. So this summer I launched and founded my own independent RIA and I've got no employees. Um, I've got no one necessarily surrounding me in that endeavor unless I intentionally seek it. And so when I saw what Justin and Taylor were putting together and knowing what they're all about. I was excited to just surround myself with a good community because I knew that if I didn't surround myself with a good community, I would flounder, right? That would be my biggest weakness in growing my business and in accomplishing my mission as a business. And uh, so, and I just knew that I wanted like-minded people in that endeavor. And I knew that the mission of what AGC is all about and communicates that they're all about and what Justin and Taylor are about individually, that I knew I'd be able to find like-minded people in this community. So you said something that is a part of kind of our mission, if you will, like-minded. So it's a vague term and I know that because it's hard for me as we launch this to kind of explain what like-minded means. And I, I think that like-minded, if you know, you know, <laughs> but do you have a way to explain when you say like-minded for you, what did that mean? What were you looking for in the advisors that you were hoping to join? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, and I, I think that's what's cool about the advisor growth community because it's not a community of everybody doing business the exact same way, right? We all have very different business models, very different focuses, but I think what it seems like we all have in common are, and what I enjoy that we have in common is everybody is very client-centric and it's all about how can we serve our clients in the best way possible? Um, and that will drive growth for ourselves as well versus the other way around, right? Whereas there's plenty of advisor communities I've seen in the past that uh, wouldn't be the like-minded in the way that I'd like them to be because it's talking about growth of our businesses for growth's sake and then the clients you know, are kind of an afterthought to that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the fact that we're talking about how to be efficient in our practices and how to serve people in the best way possible. Um, that's really exciting to me. Now that looks a lot, that looks very different for every member of the AGC and how they actually game that out within their own practices. And that's really cool to be able to challenge your own status quo in that way. So, so far real quick, what do you think? How's it yeah, been? it's been really great. Um, the one thing I was super nervous about coming into starting my own firm was we've all heard the phrase, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And in founding my own firm, I knew that naturally I wasn't going to have five people in the advisor community I'd be surrounded with right away. And finding more than five people, but um, a huge community that have lots more experience than I do personally, um, as well as just all sorts of different ways of doing things. And for me, it's been really good from the fact that coming into launching my own firm, the things I was bad at and wanting to grow at, things like processes and how to get more efficient, et cetera, et cetera, those are things that many members of the community and speakers that we've brought in have already spoken to greatly. And then for other members, you know, there's other members who are looking to figure out how to drive their content strategy, right? And we've had people speak to that. And for every person, it's probably different, but there's enough people out there, you know, in our community with different strengths and weaknesses that we all feed into each other. And that's been just amazing. So... So for anybody thinking of, you know, enrollment's coming in January, so we're hoping to get more like-minded advisors coming in yeah. so we can continue to learn. Yeah. Um, and, and just, I echo everything you say, because even though Taylor and I launched this, 
it wasn't us launching saying we know everything everybody listen to us it was hey this is something we would really like so how do we get more people that can help us grow as well and i can promise you i'm learning just as much as everybody else but for those that might want to join in january any anything you would say that you would encourage them to give it a closer look yeah i would say i would jump in i mean i justin sitting here i'm not just saying that because he's in the room um i already told one friend of mine here in indianapolis to get on the list for the next time uh because it's just been a phenomenal experience i didn't really know what to expect i was kind of taking a leap of faith when i got in based on justin and taylor and just knowing the type of community that i wanted to be a part of but it's turned out to be everything i needed and more and i would guess that most members would say the same thing. And I know that anytime I have a question about who knows what topic, going right to our community forum that the advisor growth community has put together, going right there is the first place I think of turning to. And um, and having that in my back pocket makes me feel that much more confident in front of clients and uh, in front of uh, my own self and my own self doubts, right? Like, and I just would highly recommend jumping right in. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Well, the light yeah. kicked off on us behind <laughs> it. So I think that means we need to end. Honestly, it made the lighting even better. Yeah. But we're not yeah. going to reshoot this over. We're keeping this authentic and we're going to leave the light go off. So, right, Russ, perfect. Thanks for taking the time to do that. I hope that that helps answer maybe some of the questions out there from a different voice, not Taylor and I. Uh, but January, we're going to open up enrollment again. AdvisorGC.com is the place you need to go. You can follow the Twitter handle as well. Uh, but we're out there trying to bring more advisors in to elevate what is already a tremendous group of advisors. So, Russ, thank you again. AdvisorGC.com. Go ahead there to sign up to make sure you don't miss out the opportunity in January. And hopefully we'll see more of you to learn from you all as well in January.